I didn't realize that I never undiest these. So I'm gonna wear these today. Go get it. Go get it. Word. Yeah, dude. No, but I'll see you. Well, I'll hit you before. I'll see you soon. Oh, Aaron, try to get Teddy to come up to Canada. I'm going to Detroit. He's going to Detroit. That's what I'm saying, dude. Every time we drive to Detroit, we go through Canada. So, it might be a double pop up. We got to get off the phone to figure this, this out. Shit. All right, let's talk. Come on. Good morning. Where are you going? Toronto? Yeah, dude. I'm I'm fucking down. He clipped me. Shit. are those shoes? Those are these, these are Alexander Wang. Teddy has these in neon orange and green. Those look like they glow in the dark. They dark don't, ones. but the glow in the dark ones are coming soon. Did yeah. you guys hear yeah. the hype news? Yeah. Glow in the dark. Easy's for everyone. Easy's are dead. Well, if I love hey, Easy. Oh, I was looking for them. I was looking. I had to put new ones on because I couldn't find those. Socks don't go by the clean dishes. We didn't know. Brandy's back. She's alive. Back. I didn't think I was gonna have a car today, and then she got back early. Cause I need more sour diesel. Let's do it. Ooh, Alex is about to make some cucumber water. I had so many things to say, and then I got high. I'm also making you a pot roast this morning. It's also making me a pot roast. Pot roast is a little less exciting because I've been hearing about it for like three days. Two now. days. There's been two days of pot roast. It's been two days we've had the ingredients, but the day before we talked about it a lot, so nice. we're on day three. You know, it's cool. I, like I appreciate it. it. I just, it's like a trailer that keeps coming out. Like Filling up the every, hype for you, Every you know? day on summer vacation. I like it. October. Yeah. Fucking October. What the fuck? It's fucking July. Got time for this shit. Getting a pot roast, but also it's like I ate it for so long. Um, kind of as a joke, but kind of serious. Said, you know, I'm done with Kingston. I'm claiming Eddieville now. Like he threw this big party in Kingston and nobody came out. So then Tom made a comment the other day saying support. It's always the people that say they're going to support you that they don't come out to your show. Like they sit there with you go, man, people need to support you. And then they don't show up type thing. Weird thing is like the word support. They're not fans of you. They don't love you. You're literally saying like, listen, dude, you're my friend. You should probably come out. Throw 10 bucks my way. Put your hands in the air. Are the last people that are going to support well, you. I mean, it sounds fucked up. It's yeah. true, everybody. Your friends don't want to watch you climb out of the trenches before them. But also, that takes you away from them. It's true. It's like, it shouldn't be these people should be supporting me. It should be, I'm going to do something so amazing that strangers are going to want to come see it. And if you don't see it, you're the one missing out. Yeah, you know what I mean? Keep showing up. When I saw the car in the vlog, I'm like, Teddy's wondering why cars cost so much. Fucking expensive yeah, car. Yeah. Dude, that is like, uh, I mean, that costs way, that costs more than fucking that Porsche that, what's his name? Dude, 60,000. My car is 28. That is a fucking, you could get a BMW like 500 series for that. It's, it's ill. It's an ill car. I've never seen seen a Volvo that looks that good. Why is it fucking sour? Yeah, I just, I've never right, seen. Let's go back to the topic. That I okay. About. Yeah. About. Yeah, you hate the cars just make you look crazy right off the bat. Let's um, make sure the mic is on. Or the idea of being a creative or making stuff in general, the audience and the response and the love and the support, all that shit comes way later. You shouldn't be looking around waiting to be No, but supported. I think once you're caught in a career path, you're like, okay, now I need a certain, that's the problem is you get caught in the, in this half to put it out like I've got you know 30 people that support me and if they buy this many CDs a year if I can let's just say we're talking about music you should be waking up every day and making music and you should have more music to put out than fucking you know what to do with a hard drives full of unreleased they go in there and record two or three songs every day if you're making shit to get recognized it's never gonna get well and I guess and that leads to where you say where's my support well your support should be yourself first you should be able to support yourself but well that's you my know. point like if you're talking about like Kingston people People aren't into anything. Look, yeah. everything is a construct. Cosmopolitan Hotel in Las Vegas, and everything is glittering and glitzy and moves around, and you feel like you're in a dream. You feel like you just fucking fell into a bottle of champagne. That's but that's all fake. Say like a catastrophic event hits Vegas and that building crumbles. It's all like not. Or real. people walk behind that building in a few alleyways over. Right. And people in Vegas are into that shit. They're there for that shit. It's like Kingston, New York. One out of four is on heroin. Yeah. The other fucking yeah. half is on Xanax. Nobody really has a. I'm gonna say nobody, but not a lot of people have thriving careers. Years. Yeah. They're not trying to come out to a fucking hip hop show. Yeah. Well, especially in our age bracket now and shit. Like, Pusha T had to cancel a tour. Yeah. Nicki Minaj, I don't know if she did. She's yeah. probably going yeah. to. I think touring, I was thinking about it last night. I'm like going to the movies and I was like, God, I really don't want to fucking go out to the movies. Like, I enjoy the movies. Yeah. Like, I understand the big yeah. screen and sound and shit. Yeah. But I also really enjoy just sitting here and watching. Yeah, TVs ones. are pretty big. So TV. We need to do surround sound today. We need to do sound bar anyway. Okay. 
Should we we well, we'll get weed and go from there. Part of what I'm saying is the term support is just like somebody owes you something. And well, also the term support is real loose. Your friends oh, come to support in the beginning. You're like, this is my first art gallery. I need my friends to come show your support. Of course, and they support to show you that they're interested in what you do. Maybe they do that another time and another. By your 10th or 12th art show, if they're not actual fans of the art, they go, dude, Well, that's where the I've real problem there. is. They're not actual fans. Stacking the audience with your friends makes people feel confident when they're doing something right and then not picking up new people just makes them look in the mirror and be like wait no one cares but me but here's the fucking secret i'm the only one that has to care yeah you actually just have to care you have to care about what you're doing more than what you care about what other people think even if your own mother looks at it as like that's shit oh mom love you but you don't know shit that's the key yeah. to it all because if you consistently show up every day doing the same fucking if you show up every day on the corner dressed like a clown people are eventually going to say hey look there's our yeah. clown yeah. Stand up, swim yeah. Artist, make some fucking art, dog. You want to show up? Shows and albums and records and paintings and all that shit. That's the final product. The real art is in the sketch. The real art is walking around getting an idea and taking the time to jot it down and expand upon it. He has a charismatic personality that everybody is drawn to either. In fact, a lot of artists do not. Yeah. It's also true, but I'd also say there's an art A lot of that. artists are really introverted. There is an art to that. that. But that's my problem. There's this fucking like kind of fake introversion. Yeah. I want, like it's kind of impossible. To me. How can jerk. you be a fucking artist and be an introvert? Like I really, I think, yeah, deep down, so, no. So no, I disagree. You're so into your, immersed in your art and you, you are an introvert. Don't play. Like until you became famous, you were absolutely an introvert. You, no, I don't you wouldn't, know. Even, wouldn't crazy. even go out to dinner with me because, because people I didn't like there the were too many people shit. around. That's different. And you wouldn't go to hang out with my friends because you didn't want to talk to my friends because you didn't care about them. You don't yeah, like them. That's not introverted. That's not interested. That, okay. I just wasn't well, interested. Like I'm being serious. I Saying the same thing. We're saying the same thing. Okay, They're agreeing. Well, They're agreeing while disagreeing. I'm selective with my connective. If you want to graduate, you need to elect. I wonder who's getting mud in there. Hey, let me see. The rocket just popped out. But I do fully believe that all introverts are trying to climb out of a hole. And I do think that some people become introverted because of depression. I think it like causes depression. I mean, that's what I'm saying, is like I'm not an introvert like that. Like yeah, no. I have days where I want to just spend time and draw and work and I really like just live in my work. And like if you had the choice between going to like an art show of all your stuff, talking to people about it or going back to your studio and making more stuff, you'd probably choose yes, going back a, to make more artist, stuff. Yes, as an artist, but as a businessman, I would go to the gallery. Exactly. And that's my point. You have to be both. To be a successful artist, you have to be a successful business person. Or you that's have to true. give up some of your money to it's not very good at listening. Still love you, though. What? Still I love you. you, though. I wasn't listening. What? Today's vlog is brought to you by Webster's Dictionary. It got me right out of a fight. It wasn't a fight. It was an argument. It was an argument. A disagreement. Loud. Ooh, shit. Aaron's hard at work getting those midnight orders out. The midnight order. Is that a song? No. Do Best Buy. Let's get a speaker. All right. Surround sound speaker or something. I don't know. Need something. Best Buy. So I guess I'm going to Detroit. I'm gonna go for two day or for like a week, I guess. Yeah. Talking to StockX right now about a possible pop up situation somewhere. And then maybe the Toronto. Starting pop -up. route to Best Buy. Oh yeah. So what's the deal? You're Best going to, to Toronto. Florida. Yeah. I'll have to figure it out. But I'm going to Detroit. I'm doing a few tattoos. A dragon sleeve. Quite a few people have reached out to get tattooed. I don't know how much time I have yet. And then pop up, hang out. That's about. A, it's like 900 bucks. Yeah. A because month. then on top of what the car costs. Problem is that it's a fucking lease. Yeah, and I don't know. fucking like understand this shit. Like leases are so Dude, stupid. It is, it, it's it is, such mental yeah. enslavement because you yes. have to spend all this money on the shit. Like the insurance is inflated, the fucking car payment, whatever the fuck, the yeah. car fucking ticket. Oh, wait till you try and register that car. Oh, I know. Right here too. Dude, I'm, that's why I'm over it already. It's because I'm like all these things. You gotta pay all this money, and then you're basically like telling yourself, all right, I'm gonna pay all this money every month for this fucking thing that's gonna get me these places and blah 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 blah. Yeah. And then you're forced to care about. More but than then you, want you have to keep it under a certain amount of miles, yeah. which is insane. It's like yeah. I bought my ticket to ride. Yeah. I got my ticket to ride. It's fucking expensive yeah. as shit. And now you're telling me like, no, 
Like, you only get to ride it a little bit. What is this, a fucking built-in parent that comes with the car? Like, don't put extra miles. Like, I used to get so mad at people, and they'd be like, I don't want to put the miles on my car. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's a car. Like, put the miles on the car. And now, I'm like, oh, so if I wanted to jump in my car and go to California, I basically can't. I'd have to still or, ride. Or if you decide to do that, you know, later in the year, you may have to skip a trip. The thing to do is to buy the car well, outright. okay. Cash buy. for fucking $20,000 less than the, what they're asking yeah. somehow. Well, the, you say, all right, well, how much to just buy this car? What would my payments? look like it's gonna it's be insane. another yeah fucking... they told me that yesterday weird because when i i haven't been on a car lot in so long and i feel like when i was younger the lease was more expensive yeah i don't know if it used to i don't know that's a good question yeah your dad used to work with all the cars oh my dad had his own right? car lots my dad yeah. was one of those dudes that went to car auctions bought shitty cars fixed them and then <laughs> sold them but what else they'll do sometimes is if they know you're over like or a year or two in they'll say to you where are you at it yeah they'll roll you into another them. one that's all they kept but, saying is like well don't worry because basically if you decide that you're gonna stay with volvo yeah. you know and you start to creep up on those miles we'll just put you in something new and start the process over again i'm just yeah. like yeah we'll be doing this for our entire yep. life that's where i'm at dude and that's i uh, just fucking hate cars and i'd buy an old car just go to a lot and pay cash for something but i don't want to fix it every fucking three weeks oh there you go with that too i know there's no winning this there's game. no winning that's cars the are the worst and that's best buy was a bust yeah. oh, i needed a sound bar or surround sound but i don't know Nothing exciting. Nothing exciting. We've been talking about this oh, scum this. game, so we're gonna go home and download scum. It's really weird, dude. And then it gets really weird because, like, this dude—he killed. He killed the guy, and he just starts pissing on him. The streamer who's got like six thousand followers. Shopping. Damn, that's fucking vicious. Like, yeah, we got some pin up aggression. You must be an introvert. Surround sound and weed already. I didn't get a surround sound. Um. Or a sound bar. It's too expensive and weird and difficult. As difficult as I am? No, not as difficult as you. We have to download this game. Download it. I turned the computer on. Alex is trying to buy this 1987 Honda right now. Ern, here's my reasoning. <laughs> Buy it herself, and it's gonna take the stress away. Let her buy it. Then what's the difference? But and it's then, the same money we've already spent on renting cars. But then just don't. I wouldn't count that as your trip to the mountains in the winter or anything like that. No, but like it, a spare car. If you so know. let me get this straight. Let me just get the ideology straight. I can't wait till it pulls up the block and <laughs> the end with the car pulling up. I'm ready. Did you see the commercial I sent Teddy? So what you're, we're, what we're doing <clears throat> on the quest for a new car, a reliable car, self-driving car, possibly. We're gonna buy. A really old shitty car. Project car. Project car, if you will. Can I just say that I don't pay to fix anything? Is this your project car or is this our project car? No, no, no. It'd be my project car. You're not paying $1,500 for that car. It's worth like $900. Actually, that car blue books at the lowest. And it's like worth a fucking. It's worth. Have... It's really worth like an armband tattoo, honestly. You have to go get it registered. You have to pay for that shit too. Why do I sound like somebody's dad right now? <laughs> We don't have shit. I'm not involved. Uber, like, what are you gonna do when cars are outlawed? Because it's coming. That's not now. But I mean, what are you gonna do? I don't know, but that's not my day today. My day today is. Oh, that well, that's an interesting. Uber. I guess it's relative because what you're spending on a car, I'm not spending on two flights to Detroit. And the content alone from this. <laughs> When the car pulls up and you get to get the <laughs> fucking 87 I'm car. I'm not fucking hype about the fact that that car is going to end up pulling up. Oh my god. My day's over. It is. It is. I was going to draw, but now I'm just going to fucking cry. All right. Oh, we're twitching. Might as well. Yeah. All right, watch out, Avner. We got joints. And then the piano starts and it's just windy woods roads and then it cuts to the car going by. Yeah. Hey, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I know. Teddy is too. He's just worried. I understand his concern. I do too. He's only excited because this is a moment where I said something wasn't going to happen and it's fucking happening. Yeah. I can buy in 1987. I was fucking four sorry. years old when that car came. Five. Yeah. Kindergarten. Five years old. Nice. Do you know what I was for Halloween? Casper. I was grapes. <laughs> I was Casper the friendly ghost. Nice. I wore a full jumpsuit that was purple with purple balloons on it. <laughs> Can your mom get me a photo? We were the fruit of the loom fruits. My sister was like a strawberry. Like we had, I don't know who was what, but we were all things that I was doing. Can your mom get me a photo I'll ask before her. the vlog goes live? Yeah, let me ask her right now. 